Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a look at the motorized cart lab. This is the post lab. You can take a look. We have a lot of definitions, but they all come from our discussion that we had in class based upon the graphs that we saw. So let us first start off by the three definitions of position, distance, and displacement. You'll notice that these are three different things that we're going to look at. Position is where an object is located in respect to a zero mark. We talked about this. The key idea in this is you choose your zero mark. You could pick that wherever you'd like. Um, and you'll notice as we go through problems, that won't actually change your final answer as you go. Um, distance is, of course, how far an object has traveled. Um, you will see this is the total amount of distance. It doesn't matter if you're going left or right. It's just a straight out number that we are going to add everything up from. And then displacement is going to be the change in position. And you'll notice that there will be a calcula um, calculation for this, where you will take the final position and you are going to minus the initial position off of there. So let us take you through the lab really quick. Um, we saw in one of our situations two different types of graphs. You can see this one. This is a position versus time graph. Um, the red car that you see in this situation has a positive slope going upwards, and the green car has a negative slope going downwards. Um, so the way that we saw this is we noticed that the red car was moving away from zero. If you take a look at the picture, you'll notice that um, the red arrow, again, is pointing away from zero. And the green car on over here is traveling to the left, in this case, or towards zero. You notice they're traveling in different directions, and of course the slopes are either positive or negative. So in conclusion, we came up with the idea that slope um, can tell us direction of motion. So that was one of our major conclusions that we saw from our lab. The second conclusion that we saw was that the fast car always had a steeper slope than the slower car. So from here, we can actually make a final conclusion to the slope can tell us um, about the speed. So after we get this all kind of set in our brains, we will actually come up with two different definitions. Um, the first definition that I want to bring to your attention is speed. Speed is going to be how fast an object is traveling. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an, another definition. This is a different word called velocity. This is how fast and what direction an object is traveling. The key idea is when we were looking at our graphs, we saw how fast and we saw what direction, which in conclusion we can say that the slope of the position versus time graph is, oh man, graph is velocity. So the key idea here is velocity. To get the velocity, all you have to do is look at the slope because it does tell you direction and how fast. Speed is going to be just the absolute value of velocity. And in other words, all you have to do is look at the number of the slope and the, without the direction, without the positive and the negative, and you can come up with the speed of the object that way. Um, when you guys come into class, we will take a deeper look into this. Um, we will actually act out some graphs and hopefully kind of round ourselves out understanding how these position versus time graphs um, can tell us about the motion of an object. Thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, make sure you ask them tomorrow in class.